After more than a week's interrogation, a special court in Kochi on Friday remanded Kerala Chief Minister's former Principal Secretary M. Shivachanga in the Life Mission Housing Project corruption case following the expiry of his custody period. The Enforcement Directorate, which took Shivachanga into custody for nine days, did not seek an extension. But Shivachanga has applied for his bail. Shivachanga was arrested at 11.45 p.m. on February 14th after being interrogated for three consecutive days. This was Shivachanga's third arrest by a central agency in a case related to the diplomatic baggage gold smuggling incident. Shivachanga was made the sixth accused in dollar smuggling case. Shivachanga retired from service on January 31st. He was taken into custody by the ED over suspicions that he had a role in the black money dealings in connection with the gold smuggling case, the dollar smuggling case, and the life mission corruption case. The CBA too named Shivachanga an accused as per the Foreign Contribution Regulation Act 2010. Among the central agencies that investigated the gold smuggling case, only the National Investigation Agency did not name Shivachanga an accused. What came under scanner was the Life Mission Project for providing houses for the poor at Vadakancheri in the Trishur district of Kerala. The CBA had in 2020 filed an FIR in a Kochi court under Section 120B of the IPC and Section 35 of the FCRA on a complaint by the then Vadakancheri Congress MLA Anil Akkara. Unitag Builders MD Sandoshipan was listed as the first accused and Sane Ventures the second accused. The two companies had undertaken the construction based on the agreement entered with them by UAE-based Red Crescent and International Humanitarian Movement. Red Crescent had agreed to provide rupees 20 crore towards the life mission project. The CBA had then maintained that private company Unitec carrying out construction on behalf of a Kerala government body did not get the contract through a tender. The project envisaged the construction of 97 apartments and a health center, and it was alleged that both gold smuggling case accused held talks with Unitec and fixed a commission of 30% of the project cost. Out of that, 20% was for a UAE official and 10% for Swapna Suresh and other co-accused for approvals and other file movements. The alleged FCRA violation and corruption in the project had snowballed into a major political issue at that time, with opposition parties alleging that Sopna Suresh had admitted before an NIA court that she had received rupees one crore as commission from the project. She had reportedly claimed that the money was for Shivashanga and she did everything according to the instructions of Shivashanga. The CBI claimed that Shivashanga had met Sandoshipan at his chamber along with Swapna Suresh and assured him full support. UB Jos, the then Life Mission Chief Executive Officer, was also allegedly present at this meeting. However, Life Mission CEO had submitted before the court that Unitec and Sans Ventures had undertaken the construction based on the agreement entered into with them by Red Crescent and had directly accepted foreign contributions from Red Crescent. The petition by the Life Mission CEO also said the companies which signed an agreement with the Red Crescent do not come under the categories of persons prohibited from receiving any foreign contribution as per Section 3 of the FCRA. Meanwhile, Sopna's stand is that the ED arrested Shivachanga again based on the evidence and statements she had provided to the ED. She also wants the ED to arrest CM Ravindran a close aide and the assistant private secretary to the chief minister. According to her, he also has a definite and major role in gold smuggling and life mission scams. And now the ED is likely to tighten the news around CM Ravindran. The enforcement directorate on Thursday had served a notice on him, asking him to appear before them at their office in Kochi on Monday.